Hey everybody, this is April Monique. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's vlog, this is going to be a living room clean and rearranged with me. You all probably noticed that this is the sectional. If you've been with me from day one, you probably noticed this is the sectional from my house. And you also probably noticed that this sectional was not here in my laundry video that I did here in my apartment. And that is because the reason why the sectional is now here and the couch in the love seat is gone is because me and my husband are going through a divorce. So he's already moved out and he also moved his um, couch and love seat out. And I had my sectional removed from the storage and moved here into the apartment. So voila, here we go. I had my couch and everything all wrapped up while it was in um, storage, but I still want to vacuum my whole entire sectional, the cushions, the pillows, and I also want to use my smart wash and do like a shampoo over it as well. So uh, this is going to be an entire living room clean with me. So we'll be cleaning the sectional, we'll be dusting, we'll be cleaning the floor space. If you're brand new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Welcome to my channel. My name is April Monique. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back for another video. Don't forget to like the video and also feel free to share my video with your social media. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and get into the vlog. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is lightly dust my coffee table off using some pledge or just any kind of furniture polish because I plan on using utilizing this coffee table um, to put some of my cushions and stuff on as um, vacuum in my couch. So I don't want the cushions to pick up any kind of dust that could be on the table. So I'm gonna just go ahead and lightly dust the table off for the time being.
So this is what we have going on so far. Let me back up 
so that you guys could see a little bit more of the living room and you could get a better visual of it but yeah this is what i have for the living room so far i moved the sectional oh my god so i like it so much better right here because now like i say this is really a window it looks like a door but it doesn't open if you notice it doesn't have handles on it that's the actual patio door but as you can see both of those doors are now like available well one is a window but you know what i mean both of these are available now they're both open you can see them we don't have the couch or or anything blocking one side or anything like that and that looks really pretty from my front door which is straight ahead i really like the position of the sectional how it's doing the l going this way hopefully if anybody out there have a sectional hopefully uh this video has helped you and arrange your sectional or you know reposition it or if you're going to get an apartment and you're also furniture shopping hopefully this video will help give you an idea of how you could arrange your sectional in your small space such as an apartment or a small house or even a trailer home but i do have an apartment and of course i have my coffee table here i did arrange this table here in the corner i went ahead and moved it over a little bit i might end up having to move it over just a little bit more because if you notice there's no TV stand. Yeah, so I'm going to have to get a new TV stand. I'm going to leave my picture there. That's really nice. Again, when I open my front door, you can see this big picture on the wall. It looks so beautiful right there. So I'm going to leave it there because if I move it, it's literally just going to be a whole lot of wall space. Just a white wall. So even with my TV stand, because the TV with the stand on it is probably going to extend from the floor to no higher than the picture. So think about it above the TV just going to be this like blank wall. So um, for now, I want I want this picture to stay there. Now, once I put my TV there with the stand, maybe I'll change my mind on the picture, but I really don't think so. So that's going to stay right there because because to me, it still brings out the beauty of the room and I'm going to get a TV stand and put it there. But guys, TV stands are heavy. They're pretty big, depending on the, the kind you're getting. I want to get a nice one. I really don't want to get like a super small one, but I'm kind of undecided on it. So yeah, I'm gonna have to get that thing delivered and brought in for me. It's no way I could like carry that in by myself. Like, so that's gonna be a little process right there with um, picking one out and having arrangements to have it delivered and have someone bring it in for me. So, but I'm gonna get that pretty soon. And over here on this wall, as you all can see, where my sectional is at there is a little hole up there for like any kind of internet cables and my internet box is still behind the sectional however i left enough room and i made sure my sectional is not pressed up against that box because i do not want to act, uh, cause a fire or cause the internet box to get heated up while it's up against the surface of the couch which could cause a fire so that's definitely something i'll have to monitor on a daily basis to make sure my couch doesn't slide back on the internet box or anything like that so yeah so the internet box is fine where it's at but i do have this hole up there that little opening for i guess cables or if you wanted to hang a tv up there or something so um i'm gonna obviously have to find something to cover that up maybe a mirror or just a nice picture so this is the day after i cleaned my couch and i used a combination of a fan plus letting it air dry and it dried completely with no issues and no problems so much for watching my video all the way to the end please like my video please also share my video if you have any questions or comments or even suggestions on what else i could add to this space or what kind of other decor i could add to to the living room area please feel free to comment that down below and if you want to message me privately my email is always down below in the description box again thank you all so much and i will see y'all in the next vlog bye